Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. It is May the 15th and it's time for Rock 2022 AU, our make along, our second album for May. So our first album was to celebrate Eurovision, which I'm a big fan of, and the band was ABBA. Um, because ABBA won Eurovision in 1974 and became world famous and just amazing. I think everybody really liked the fact that I chose ABBA. The music is great. You can sing along to it. You can dance to it. It's just awesome music and, and lovely band people who did a lot for the industry. Um, there was a lot of inspired projects using different colours. Um, one of the notable projects that we'll rate to mention is Tamara made a Jacob's Ladder tea cosy, which was just gets a big thumbs up. Sorry, that's a plane going overhead. Um, it was awesome to see. I have not made a Jacob's Lighter tea cosy in a number of years. Maybe it's time I made another one and have Tamara inspire me. For me, I use the album cover to inspire my two projects I'm doing. This is my stained glass square. This is the first time I've used a variegated yarn in the square to get the effect of the cover. And on my blanket, I used a couple of different colors, um, not similar to the square. I used um, the beige and this mustard yellow in a couple of rows to tie in with my zigzag blanket. And I think it made a nice notable difference to the blanket. So that's what I've done for ABBA. Now remember, you don't have to do colors from each album cover you, in two different projects. You can just combine them into one project or you can pick one album cover for the month. So in keeping with Eurovision, which is now done and dusted um, as of 5 a.m. our time this morning in Australia, I won't tell you who won. Um, if I can find a link to part of the show or to do with Eurovision 2022, I will put it in the description below. Um, I was truly amazed at how talented um, Sheldon Riley was from Australia. I'd never really listened to him before. His performance was amazing. The backstory to his song was just quite heart touching. And yeah, um, he did Australia proud, I think. Um, the story was written when he was about 14 or 15. And um, yeah, I guess for want of a better thing, he came from a religious family and I don't know. There's a saying here, um, religious people prayed the gay away. And um, yeah, his family had trouble accepting he was gay. Um, for me, it's not an issue. Um, everybody's different. All cultures are different, people are different. If we were all the same, it'd be a very boring word, world. Um, and yeah, he just has the most amazing voice and he's very creative. Um, Semi-final one was disappointing for me. Um, Eurovision's usually very flamboyant and really pulls out some unusual acts. Um, Semi-final one wasn't like that. And I was disappointed because I like Denmark, Ready from Denmark, the girl band, and they didn't make it through to the final. And some that did, I didn't think were good enough, but that's my opinion. Semi-final two showed some more flamboyance. And yeah, it was pretty good. There's only one particular group I didn't think should be in the final. But hey, the country, the people from countries vote. So it's always going to be a bit Europe stacked. But you never know, because I think Dami M from Australia when she appeared, um, she was came second and was runner-up. So you never know who's going to win. So Eurovision, um, Thing and I watch it together and we had a conversation after um, semi-final one about the lack of flamboyance and how it always brought out these weird and wonderful bands and people. And that got him thinking for our album for May the 15th. And he said, I'm going to pick it because I'm going to pick a flamboyant band that I, me, used to. He said, oh, you were crazy about, it. you loved them. And um, he said, and we have their album. So our second album for May the 15th, are you ready for it? It is Kiss. Yes, 
the makeup, the costumes, really flamboyant, a great band. Yes, I still like, like their music and enjoy it. This is the album Dynasty and features one of their most popular songs, I Was Made For Loving You. That is our second album for May the 15th, Kiss. So as per usual, I've got a um, bit of a spiel on Kiss. They formed in 1973. They're a New York City band from America. The original members were um, Stanley, Gene Simmons, Ace Frehley and Peter Chris. There's been a number of member changes coming and going over the years, but they're the original members. They are well known for its members wearing makeup, on um, face painted makeup, stage outfits, um, using shocking things in their live performances during that time, like fire breathing, spitting, smoking guitars, shooting rockets, levitating drum kits, and pyrotechnics. They were wild. Yes, the lineup changed over the years, but the original four were my favourites. With their makeup and costumes, the members of the original band took on personas of com comic book heroes, such as Stanley, the Star Child, the Demon, which was Gene Simmons, the Space Man or Space Ace, which um, was Fermi, and Catman which was Chris. In 1983, Kiss began performing without their makeup and costumes. I still like them. A lot of people thought once the makeup was gone, they'd be forgotten. Um, but they did actually do really well. In, and this is called the Unmasked Era. The band experienced a commercial resurgence during this era. Um, they released the album Lick It Up and um, it, I think it went platinum certified because it introduced them to a new generation of fans and they weren't just about makeup and costumes. They're actually talented and quite a good band. In response to the wave of Kiss nostalgia in the mid-1990s, the original lineup reunited and saw the return of stage makeup and stage costumes. The, reuse, the reunion resulted in them having a tour which was highly successful. It grossed $143.7 million. It was the band's most successful tour. In September 2006, um, 18, KISS announced that after 45 years of recording and performing, it would embark on their final tour, the End of the Road World Tour. Now, it was still going at the beginning of 2020, but I don't think they actually got to complete it due to the pandemic. KISS is regarded as one of the most influential rock bands of all time, as well as one of the best-selling bands of all time, having sold 100 million records worldwide. On April the 10th, 2014, the four original members of KISS were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. A quote by uh, Loudwire magazine, KISS is, is as the third, KISS is the third best metal and hard rock band of all time. So there you have it, KISS. Who doesn't like KISS? So you could use the album cover to inspire your projects. It's left me a little, you know, I'm uninspired at the moment. I'm scratching for something to make. You have the faces you could make in a square um, or even a tea cosy. The inside cover of this album has some more colour on it. Um, there's some more colours to inspire you. There's nothing on the back but the list of songs and, of course, I was made for loving you. Kiss. So I hope you find the album cover inspiring. Go outrageous. Go um, flamboyant. Be wild when you're creating your second project for May or combining your projects. Look, you don't have to do both albums during a month. You can do one project and combine both albums or one project and just do one album. But don't forget to post your pictures with a hashtag 
Rock 2022 AU. Love seeing the pictures and seeing what you come up with. Because um, the tea cozy blew me away. I wasn't expecting it. Um, so, Eurovision 2022, not as good as some other years, but who knows? It can get better. It can be pretty wild. Um, but and I will keep watching it every year, even if I have to get up at 5 a.m. on a Sunday morning. So until next time, take care, stay well, and remember to kiss someone you love. Peace be with you.